Hi guys, how are you doing today? Today I have got another little corner the shop with me because I have literally just browsed very quickly and we're going to discuss it in more detail the um, new in sections of Bershka and Pull and Bear and if you can hear fireworks I can faintly hear fireworks apologise for that, I apologise for that um, it's not bonfire night just yet so I don't know why they're going off and I'm filming this on a Wednesday so it's not like it's the weekend or anything but that's by the by. Today we are going to look around the come look around the new in sections of Bershka and Pull and Bear brands that I do both really like and have purchased many a thing from in the past both online and in store so if you want to keep on watching if this is your kind of jam your kind of thing um stick around for the video um if you're not already please subscribe we do quite a few of these analyzing what is on new in sections of websites and also come shop with me in physical stores halls and all that kind of stuff so click the subscribe button and the ring my bell down below so you're notified of new videos and also give this a like and follow my instagrams which are always linked down below so has anyone got this opinion as well we kind of in the uk at least we it's like november beginning of november now so it's still autumn time but we kind of had like two weeks of autumn and we've skipped straight to winter now because it is now freezing i've literally just put my heating on so yeah my tools are a bit frosty at the moment but we're gonna look in what they've got in Bershka first um because that's the first one I did alphabetical order shall we say um so first things first um that came up like literally one of the first things is this faux shearling jacket with hood um there's quite a trend one of the things I've picked out and two that I'm drawn to and three I guess that are the trends and it still is it's autumn it's like what is it florals in spring groundbreaking shirling in autumn groundbreaking basically but i love that anything fluffy i'm drawn towards like a magpie i guess um so this furling furling jacket even is 49.99 so let's just say 50 quid shall we um but this one's got a hood i don't normally get drawn to things that have got hoods as he says wearing a blooming hoodie but you know what i mean like um i prefer a jacket unless it's a rain jacket not to have a hood really um but this one oh my voice went then this one has got like a zip on the side which i'm not a fan of we saw some jackets like this without hoods um in primark for half the price of this but go check my come shop with me video which i'll link above for that primark video where we did go come shop with me in primark um and i actually really like the trousers they pair this with like that I didn't see them they look a bit pajamery but yeah that's my first pick although it is white they have got it in a black as well i didn't take a picture of that as in screenshot i didn't take a picture but um the hat this is in like white so that needs to be careful um next thing which is actually more expensive than the thing before is this check herringbone over shirt and by the way if i'm looking down i've got my laptop here um so that is why this is 59 no it's not it's 55.99 and it is in this lovely green color well green check with a like yellow kind of check well like lines in it how do we describe that it's got like a chevron pattern as well this is a really nice jacket um it looks quite thick and warm as well if you watched my recent h&m haul i have pe recently picked up the jacket that i am smitten with um i really love that it's similar vibes to this i guess it's check that's the kind of vibe but not color wise at all but yeah that is a nice jacket i don't think i've really got anything greeny color in my wardrobe that's like that next something that is also you'll see a theme through these um new in sections that we're looking at is kind of color blocking and kind of like patchwork ish so the next thing is this block corduroy jacket which is kind of like a jacket really and this one's 50 quid as well um i just really liked the tones of this it's very autumnal obviously with the beiges and creams and then you've got a like nice deep navy corduroy going through i have got a corduroy like a denim style corduroy jacket you know like just like a denim jacket but like corduroy um that i have 
haven't worn in a while and it's in an extra small one was from Primark. I think I got it in the sale. I haven't worn that in a while because I think it's a bit tight but we might have to try it on again soon. But this is giving me kind of those vibes except this is an inner denim jacket style. It's a bit longer, it's in a shirt and it's got poppers. But yeah, I really like that. I like the split on the back and the arms are different colours. Really like that. I really like things like that, like have might have a different colour arm or something like that. I don't know why I'm drawn to that. Always have, always will. If you know, if you've watched any of my videos in like the winter time, I'm always on the hunt for a puffer jacket. I have got a navy puffer jacket from Pull and Bear, which I've had a while. I got it for like £10 in the sale on ASOS. I got it in a navy. They did have it at the time in a black. I skipped on it. Should not have. Um, because black is just classic and it'll go with everything. Navy does as well to some extent, but I just want a classic black puffer jacket in my wardrobe. My stipulations for it, no hood. I know that's not as practical, but I just like that look better. Um, it needs to be like thick puffs, not the thin puffs. Um, zipped, goes all the way to the top, got a nice thick collar. That's kind of my stipulations and not like a long one basically. This one is what they've got on Bershka um, and I nearly bought one in TK Maxx that they had from Bershka a while a few years ago but again skipped on that and that was like £9. Should not have. Um, but it, this is just a basic black puffer jacket but I like it. There's like three big puffs on the back which isn't really, I guess I want more, not that size puffs. Like the arms are great, just three on the like body, not so much but yeah, if this goes in the sale, you may see a haul with that in. Keep an eye out on that. Next is a shirt over shirt, so basically a jacket. Um, I really like the tones of this again, it's very autumnal with the browns and stuff like that. Um, this one's a little bit cheaper at £30, £29.99. Um, they paired it with like a lime green neon beanie, not sure about that, but an yeah, and they also like paired it with sweatpants, which I've never would have thought of doing, and it kind of works. And like a turtleneck underneath. So it kind of works, it looks like it's a popper style as well. Really like that. Next is this. You'll see there's quite a lot of coats in this, but I do love a coat and it's winter after all. But this is a double breasted coat. And what colour do they call this? Do they call it a colour? Okay, it's in off white. So this would be very risky in winter, especially if you're caught in the rain or anything like that. But I just loved how sleek it looked, like not done up. I don't think I'd ever do it up. Um, and you just have like four buttons, really like that. It looks a bit oversized on him, on the model. Is it like oversized? Not sure, but I just really liked that sleek jacket. It, yeah. And the way they've kind of dressed it down with a hoodie, they've styled it like that. But yeah, that jacket, I would never um, take the risk, like, trust myself with wearing something that light because it is off-white, but really love that. And then next, back to the shearling. So this is kind of like all my tick boxes checked. I love shearling, borg, sh um, whatever you want to call it. And I love a half sip and this is like my fantasy all in one. Um, there's nothing else really I can say about that. That is like all my things I like. Half, like quarter half zip or whatever you want to call it. And shirling. I love it. And it's in cream. That's my, my like that's classic shirling, isn't it? Or shearling. Why am I saying shearling? It's not a person. Um, shearling. Um, yeah, love that. I don't need it because I've got many a thing like that. Next are these trainers that I thought were particularly nice and they're such a good price as well. If these go in the sale for like 20, like under 20 pound, I would definitely snap these up. These are some men contrast trainers. They are 30 pounds, 29.99. Very reminiscent of Air Force Ones by Nike. Um, and I just love like the two tones of the beige and the white together. Really nice. Um, and I love the thick chunky sole. They're not like a dad. Um, sneaker or trainer they are like a chunky trainer without being like that and they are very classic because air force ones are so classic as well and they've got like the whole vibe of an air force one without the price tag um so it's in sand is the color i do love that chunky platform heel it's not a heel the whole like sole really like that and if that they do go on this sale 
I will definitely be snapping those up. Has anyone had any experience with Bershka trainers? I would really like to know that below. I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Zara, I have. And I love Zara trainers. They're one of the best things um, about Zara. I've got, I've had, I've got three pairs of them now. Um, and Bershka and Pull and Bear are obviously part of the same group as Zara. So hopefully the comfort and everything would be similar. But let me know if you have had any experience with either Bershka or Pull and Bear shoes in general, basically. That would be great. Um, next is this asymmetrical two-tone sweater for uh, $27.99. I just really liked the two-toned of it. What I don't like is at the bottom here, hopefully I can show it to you, it's, I suppose, in in the name, asymmetrical. It kind of goes like that. I don't like that, but clue is in the name, actually. I didn't look at the name before. Next thing is this diamond patterned sweater. Again, this is quite bold and colour blocky. Really nice for like having a bold pop of colour in the winter, in the drab cold months. Um, and it's kind of like an argar, is that argar print? Kind of like a modern take on it because it's kind of like chopped down the middle and it's kind of distrapal, what's the word? It's not like matchy, which I do really like. It reminds me a bit of golf, I suppose. And they are kind of colours that like a golfer would wear. Um, next, again, another sheer, sheer link, she, can I, why can't I say that word? Shearling. Oh, this one is an overshirt. This one is £50. Um, this is very nice. It's got buttons rather than a zip. Um, yeah, it, I just, again, I love that so much. And then the last thing, obviously, this is another thing that ticks even more boxes. Um, this is a colour block faux shearling pocket, pouch pocket jacket, quarter zip, shearling, and it's like different colours. This is gorgeous. I love it. I um, mean, it's already sold out and it's just more small and a medium. Really like that. It's really, that's just so fun. If that goes in the sale, I'd probably pick that up. I love that so much. So that was Bershka. What are your thoughts on that? We're going to move over to Pull and Bear now. I think I've got a few less things on Pull and Bear. Um, for a time, I was very drawn to Bershka quite a lot and I loved a lot of the things like probably two years ago and then I kind of switched to Bill and Bear and now I'm not really sure I haven't been on their websites in a while so this is kind of me rekindling that fire if you will but first off on Bill and Bear is this check relaxed fit shirt so a bit of a shacket vibe this is 30 30 pounds 29.99 um, this actually reminds me of a shirt that my sister used to have, probably back in the 90s, and I probably, I think I probably, if it's not somewhere, it might be somewhere, I feel like it is somewhere, <laughs> that she probably got like an air show, because we always spent our childhood at like an air show, um, because my dad's a plane spotter, but this reminds me of it so much, and it's very 90s grunge kind of vibes. Um, and this looks quite textured as well, very much like the H&M one that I bought recently. Again, I button, click on that to see that. Um, but yeah, it, it's a bit Christmassy, I suppose, as well with the red, but not too Christmassy. Next thing is a puffer jacket. Um, there's two puffer jackets in the Pill and Bear section. This one, actually looking at it, I was very drawn to the colour because it's in a teal. Teal is my favourite colour. Um, but this looks a bit puffed. <laughs> it's a thermo sealed, so it's probably quite warm. This is 50 quid. Um, I just thought it was quite like a nice electric teal, a bit kind of that colour, but a bit brighter than this cushion. Um, oh yeah, so I have now got the next item is the puffer jacket. This is probably literally the same thing as the one I've got. This is 45.99 though, um, but it looks very similar with the amount of um puffer bits it's got and the whole zip situation but it's just in a black and they've got it in a million different colors as well i really highly recommend that jacket actually but if you can't get it in a sale price they normally do bershka and pull and bear do a lot of sales at like the end of season like zara and stuff will go in the sale um so i highly recommend getting if you haven't got a jacket puffer jacket is really good it's really lightweight but also keeps you warm, so it's really good. And it has, that's my tummy, I'm hungry. Um, it's not like overbearingly warm, which I like because I get too hot. Um, so that is kind of my perfect puffer jacket, but I will be looking out for it in the sale. Next is a varsity jacket, which is, this is actually reasonably priced at 27.99. This is in teal one of my faves and I just love varsity 
style jacket. Again, I mentioned this in a previous video, but Steph did a video on varsity jackets quite recently. So if you want like a more in-depth look at someone that, that is really good at styling and everything, go check out his one his channel and one that video. Um, I really like this. I could have probably done out with done without the PB because that's very obvious pull and bear, but it doesn't have an and, so I guess that's all right. But I do really love that color. It's like an electric teal or turquoise. It's more turquoise, electric turquoise, I guess. Um, a trend that I have not gotten into is like this pullover trend, um, like tank top, if you will, not like a tank top, like a camisole, but like a tank top, T tank top in the sense of like a UK tank top like you would see again a golfer wear but this is a really nice one this is 25.99 it's in a 70 style it's literally called 70 style knit pullover I just thought the design of it was really nice and I do do I kind of want to I want to try it maybe but maybe at a lower like a cheaper price than 25.99 basically but it's not too bad of a price but the pattern is quite out there I might want maybe like a cable knit kind of one would be like good at easing myself into that whole realm um yeah what's your thoughts on the whole pullover tank top I can't even say that word tank top it's been a long day guys tank top vibe or just let me know your thoughts on that again next thing shilling um this one's 50 quid and again it's patchwork love that I really love this so much I love it. And the thick band at the bottom, I really like as well. Um, I just love all the colours. It's so autumnal. It reminds me of like a chocolate bar. You put like the milk chocolate, dark chocolate and white chocolate. Um, I don't know. It just, it's just so nice. I love it. If that went in the sale, I might snap that up. Um, I was saying earlier about uh, Pull and Bear and what's the Bershka um, shoes and stuff. These Chelsea boots caught my eye. And I really appreciate that Bershka and Pull and Bear also go down to a size five UK. I'm a size six, so I'm happy they like cater for a wide range of sizes. They go up to a size 11. I just thought these were really nice. They've got a nice gum, I think it's gum, like chunky ish heel sole. Really like that. And I really like the comp. The colour they come in, they call it a tobacco brown. They also do it in a lighter colour sand as well. These are 50 quid. Um, I also like that they're not like a straight Chelsea boot. They've kind of got an interesting bit of design on them. But they also look really comfortable. Um, so yeah, are they real? I think they are because they say leather Chelsea boots. So I think they are real, real suede. So that's really good as well for 50 quid. Um, again, oh no, this isn't... this is not a shirling jacket. Are we shocked? Um, this is just a basic beige jacket, but I just love the simplicity of this. It would be really nice. Like, I love the whole tonal look of this model. They've done it, how they've done it. And it's just like a really classic jacket. Um, something that you could layer quite well. Um, so if it's really cold, you could layer up um, really nicely like that. They've got a hoodie underneath this, um, but you could also dress this up so well or like dress it down quite easily because look they've literally got it with a hoodie but you could wear this to an office this is 55.99 so not too bad for that kind of thing uh, we are still on the shearling obviously this shearling sweater is so nice it is 45.99 and it has sold out and it's just small as well um it looks quite oversized i'm not sure how itchy it would be hopefully it wouldn't be itchy but again it's in that classic shearling colour. I like how, I think I might have taken a screenshot of it, but I like how they've um, styled it with like the layered over like suede looking gilet and then you've got a bag and like all the tones match and it's autumn's dream basically. Really like that but I feel like I might get really hot in that if I was to wear it layered up quite a bit. I guess that's why they've got like a gilet on it. Um, and then last thing, their interpretation of the trainers that we saw in Bershka and like um, Nike's Air Force Ones. These are $25.99. How much were the Bershka ones? Let's have a look. They were $29.99. So they're a bit cheaper, but these ones haven't got so much going on and they're a little bit more basic, but I like them nonetheless. They've got the same, they're literally the, basically the same shoe really, aren't they? They've got the beige, 
they've got the white, and they've got that whole Air Force One vibe. Really like those, and $25.99 is a really good price. They're really nice and chunky as well. Love that. Let As I said before, let me know what your, if any of you have tried Pull and Bear or Bershka shoes, trainers, boots, anything like that. Typically, Pull and Bear and Bershka are really good at putting their shoes in the sale, so maybe we'll see these around Black Friday or the Christmas, after Christmas, on Christmas Day sales. Um, yeah, and I may have to pick one of those up as well, because I do love a basic shoe like that. So yes, that is a look at Pull and Bear and Bershka's new in sections. Um, they were literally everything on new in, well not everything, my cherry picking of what's on the new in on Pull and Bear and Bershka. Um, let me know if anything caught your eye there, have you, um, well what's your thoughts on Pull and Bear and Bershka, have you bought much from them and anything like that, let me know down in the comments below. I am going to have my dinner now because I'm hungry, what time is it, it's nearly seven o'clock, I'm hungry, I've had a long day at work, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not already, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring my bell to be notified of new uploads. Um, also follow my Instagrams. They're always linked down below. I'm trying to post more stuff on my uh, main one anyway, not my home one. I haven't done that in a while. Soz. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Not sure what the next video will be, so stay tuned for that and I'll see you soon. Bye.